So look, bro, another reaction video, another Yande video, um, the hood vlogs. Matter of fact, this one's a little different. I keep telling y'all, like, I read comments, it's just that I don't respond to them a lot because if I responded, say I get 500 comments. I responded 20 of them, 480 of y'all mad. I responded 30 of them. 470 of y'all, I ain't got no time for that, bro. But I do be responding. I do be responding. With that being said, uh, the Kid Boys, Ghost, you got to hit up the Kid Boys with you. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Speaking on the comments, speaking on the comments again. Tommy G, what up, bro? What up, bro? The reason why I say that is because the last video I did, y'all know with the Chicago and the prostitutes, whatever, uh, they were doing all that, whatever. Um, they showed me, they was hitting me on Instagram. You commented on the video, bro. If I would have seen that, I would have pinned it in response. I ain't no fake like that. Like, I don't get down like that. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, with the Kid Boys, y'all been wanting me to do it. Like, ghost, you got to get up on it. You got to get up on it. I heard about them. I heard what they be doing, but I don't know where they from. I don't know how they get out. I don't know if it's real kids or what do kids stand for? Killed in action. I'm an army vet. Like, I'm a <laughs> KIA me kill. What? So, I don't know if it stand for something or they talking about Kia cars. You know what I mean? We finna find out though. This another uh another hood vlog. Ten thousand likes for your boy. I ain't seen that yet on this channel, I don't think. It's brand new. And if I'm lying, I'm not lying. I just don't remember, so I just don't remember. <laughs> but let's go, bro. Could you show us how it looks to steal a car? I can show you inside your car. <laughs> <laughs> Accident. What? Here, guys, this is what I'm gonna do real quick. All right, now we're good to go. <laughs> oh, it's got that one old head, bro. Hello, everybody. My name is Tommy G, and today I'm going boots on the ground, cover a notorious group of kids, the Kia Boys. These kids are legendary for the amount of cars they are stealing in Milwaukee. Just last. So it is cars. Milwaukee stolen vehicle crimes double. Half the kids are arrest. Half the arrest are kids. My bad. But anyway, bro. With that being said, this up in Milwaukee. Y'all always see me in these videos like, goes. you must be a Bengals fan. Are you a New York Jets fan? Are you a Mets fan? No, I'm not, bro. I am officially, not officially. Y'all officially hear me. I'm a Packers fan. Been like that since I was a kid. Oh, my mama rest in peace, right? On oh, my kids. <laughs> it's just ironic that I wear a Green Bay jersey while they doing this in Milwaukee since it's all up in Wisconsin. You know what I'm saying? I did not purposely do that. This video was meant to be. It was. Last year alone, they've stolen 10,000 cars, in particular Kias and Hyundais. Let's roll the tape so I can show you what they do. Kias and what? 10,000 cars, in particular Kias and Hyundais. Let's roll it's the tape Hyundai, so I can show fool. you what they you do. Said These dumbass Kia boys. Oh my god. The whole city know who it is. Hey, what's up in Kia's? Do they got like gold nuggets up and why are people still in Kia cars? To me, that's a broke nigga move. I'm not lying. What is up in no no beamers, no hellcats, no scats, no well, what's up in the Kia that they keep on stealing? Cause I promise you, if you take it to a chop shop, what you gonna get? $13? And like a Gatorade, maybe? In all honesty, bro, what you getting? Fifteen hundred? It ain't worth it. And it's probably not even fifteen hundred, bro. And y'all kids. So if you're supposed to get fifteen hundred, it's gonna give you seven fifty. Y'all gonna be happy with that, bro. As long as you can buy some drip. You know what I'm saying? Hey, what's up? Oh, In the school. What? Today we're gonna to be talking to the citizens of Milwaukee, getting their take on the Kia boys and the Kia boys themselves. Let's begin this story. I feel like a little bit of a war correspondent in my own city right now. I believe everybody- Are you from Milwaukee? Heard. I really hope to find it in these Kia boys. Have you heard of the Kia boys? <laughs> Y'all already know what I'm about to say, shut up. Have you heard of the Kia boys? Yeah. No, oh, I haven't. Yeah. I haven't seen a lot of it on the news. Yeah, I heard the Kia boys. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, how about that? How do you describe what the Kia boys <laughs> the do? The Betty Betty bot. Uh, <laughs> they hot. 
Yeah. They hot. And they break into people's hard worked cars and take them and just Well, I heard her so far apart, y'all. It look like they not even together, bro. But as far as the kid boys, they just need their ass whooped. I'm being real. It ain't nothing, nothing like hurting your family more or stealing the car or getting smoked over a kid, bro. I hope Tommy G get up and tour it up in these interviews because I really want to know why they only taking kids. Because if it is, I I just don't understand it. I never will understand it. Niggas gonna get shot, bro. I didn't destroy them. Now they just doing to destroy our city, and this it's not right. If you were mayor of the city, what would you do about the key boys? Try to make a difference. You gotta start making an example. What Kevin Durant the doing out there? there? His own car shot up, so he doesn't really know what to do. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe we need more police. I said some jump out boys, boys and make you know undercover, get their asses in and clean up the city. Stupid. <laughs> What if you were mayor of the city? What would you do? Lock their ass all up. If I was mayor, I would propose <laughs> your first offense as a key boy, you have to do a thousand hours of trash cleanup. That don't help them no more, man. No? no? Tommy G, the fuck are you talking about? A thousand hours of clown. That don't, that don't help people. This was in the 90s when you had them little... That don't help my people. I'm going to be 100 with you. The police got to clean up by taking them to jail. But then they minors, I keep on saying, they boys, they're teenagers, they boys, they boys. They gonna keep on doing this until they get caught. So I'm saying, go for president. You still a BMW since they not getting stolen? You can go home, you still a kid. That's five years in prison, bro. I'm not even lying. I will stop that in the city so quick. Let me be the mayor. That would have been good. I'm telling y'all, bro, the reason why all these laws, the way they are, and they never get passed, and they're the same way for decades on decades on decades on decades. Because there'd be some busters in the office. They don't want to switch the law and have everybody mad at them. They don't want to look like the bad guy. Fuck that. I'm changing shit. You know what I'm saying? You ain't going to be there long anyway. Do y'all remember the last 10 mayors in your city? No. The 10 mayor, uh, governors in your city? No. I don't remember that. Because they tried to play it by the book. They got in there and went out. I always say... When it comes to office, bro, no matter what kind of chair it is, from the president all the way down to the city councilman in your city, the laws stay the, change, <clears throat> stay the same. It's just a different face that they got in front of the people, bro. They gonna, everybody going to preach the same exact, you know what I'm saying? Goes with president, bro. I'm changing all this shit. Can't even breathe on Tuesdays. <laughs> Not even lying. I'm about to go light this. Hold up. What should the punishment be if you get caught stealing a car? Give them some time. Sit there. Two out. years, four years, ten years? Like a good 10, 20 years because that's hard earned cars. Shut your big head out. And you too big to be wearing yellow. I'm gonna keep it one. No, just, man, we ain't giving them 10, 20 years. I'm the president, bro. I'm talking about 10 to 20 years. As soon as our son go to Jeff and steal the car. They gave him 10 to 20 years for a car? He's just a kid. Why you can't shut up? I'm being reasonable. Therefore, if my son did it, five years in prison. Not lying. Not 10 to 20 years. You, you must be crazy. What if we told you you can't eat? Well, it's not even about her. It's not, I'm sorry. It's not even about you. It's just your opinion. <laughs> like, look, don't get your boyfriend to beat me up. Look at the good where I'm driving because <laughs> of the Kia boys. A Kia boy stole you. your car? Yes. Can't take the kisses. What the hell? They ain't not stole. Hold on. I got to I gotta like this. Y'all know my stove with my lighter. If you fast forward the video, you're not really gang, bro. In your girl cheating. <laughs> she in the room. <laughs> hey, look. Hey, hey, look, bro. Y'all gotta peep Tommy G too. That thing is messy. Why you had to blow up her car like that, bro, and then put it in the reaction? Look how, bro. Hey, look, I'm looking at it on one side because I am the reaction. Y'all watching me, Ghost Gang on top. But y'all see two reaction videos right now, bro. He blew it up, then blew it down, then blew it. Hold on, how you do this? I had to go get my lighter. All right, so we're gonna do it. 
Two no. years, four years, ten years? A good 10, 20 years because that's hard earned cars. Look at what I'm driving because of Akia Boys. Akia Boys stole your car? Ah, okay, my bad, my bad. <laughs> she said that's what she driving because of them. I thought she said they stole it. I'm like, how they stole it? <laughs> and they just gave that thing right back. Can I give it back too? Cause I, look, at first I thought they stole it. They stole it, took it to the chop shop. Like, bro, take that back. They took it back to her house in the driveway with the keys in it, the flowers on the table, with a uh, seat with a sorry note. Like, <laughs> I promise y'all, I don't care how much money y'all got, right? Listen to me. Listen to me. Kid boys take my car. I am not driving that shit, bro. Not not the two tone when it's not supposed to really be a two tone. <laughs> she got the patch out of the one on her door. That's a she got a ball spot in her car. That's what the right door is. That's a ball spot. Let me tell you this, bro. I would rather roll down the street on an electric scooter. People be like, dang, that's dope. Instead of ride down there. You got the fire down. Fish bowl. She ain't got no tents on that motherfucker. Look, people be getting tents in a nice cars cause it's fly. But to, to y'all rolling around with some shit like this, this one you really need to get that limo tick, like the darkest tent, I think it's the number one, and risk the tickets in your city, bro. You don't want nobody to see you driving this shit. Her car got a ball spot. Not even lying, her car got a ball spot, bro. It's right on the right hand side. Because the school can't make appointments, gotta call it to work. So it's tragic. It was sad and tragic. I cried. <laughs> was it a big financial hit to you? Definitely. Good time as an adult. Two years, 10 years? 10 years. Keep his ass in what do you think should be done? You, you can tell he ain't got no like teeth with his mouth closed. Like going too fast. I don't I'm not know. even lying. Look. Time has been bad and tragic. I cried. <laughs> Was it a big financial hit to you? Definitely. Time has an adult. Two years. You can tell he ain't got no teeth, right? And don't say, oh, that's because we already seen the ghost. No, I can tell. Well, I think y'all know my people like I know my people. <laughs> I can tell, bro. Like the homie ain't. <laughs> Come here, Gums. <laughs> Ten years. <laughs> yeah, you gonna let them hit the blood. What do you think should be done? I don't know. You gotta to catch them niggas. They be going too you fast. Know, I don't know. To okay, how many years should someone get for robbing a car? Like, what's a fair punishment? I don't want to put a kid in jail for life. But I don't think it should be a slap on the wrist. I don't think so either. Um, I don't. I can't say. Okay. I got boys, and if they go to jail, I feel bad. Exactly. I go out there and steal a couple of kids and try to rake and race. Up and kill somebody, they gonna give me 25 to life, player. If we were cellmates, I'd play chess with you. Thank you, I play, I love that game. Yeah? Do you know anyone who has had a car stolen? Yes, that I work with. Yes, Do you know much. anyone that has gotten their car stolen? <laughs> yep. Multiple people or just one? Multiple people. Yeah, I have two or three friends who have some still that kind of thing. Guys, this is a man with multiple people in his circle that has had a car stolen. Notice what Tommy G be doing, bro. He is messy than a mother. That's why I rock with him, because I'm busy too, sick. Right. Oh, that is, is that a Russell shirt? That's one thing about the foreigners, bro. They 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 will wear a feel a t-shirt to the club. <laughs> y'all see y'all Jamaican on Belizean, bro. They gonna be in the club with a Nike shirt, Nike shorts, and, <laughs> and with the <laughs> Love y'all to death, bro. I'm not lying. Ain't nothing like us. It ain't no other, it's no other race like us, bro. I'm not lying, but just start wearing that shit to the club, though, because we ain't Crazy. Fucking. That's crazy yeah, to think about. Yeah. If you had a message for the Kia boys, what would it be? Kill your good ass out. Stop ruining our city. Stop before you get killed or kill everybody else, man. Why you out there doing it? Stop doing it. Never see your family if they fucking with some of these people. Maybe if you work and do something for yourself, you will know what it is to have something instead of taking from people. Do you feel like there's hope yeah, for them in the future or do you think they're too far gone? For everybody. Is he rolling up? It makes me sad to see the Kia boys. Those are young kids doing all they're young this. Babies, man, but they don't like, they don't understand what they're doing. A three year old know what he's doing. We gotta stop doing that too. Once you commit a certain crime, you are not a kid. You are not a baby, bro. You are not a kid. Look, growing up, Growing up, right? Swear to God, my homies hitting bank licks, 13 and 14 years old. Shootouts, car licks, robberies, and all that type of gas station. Like, at a certain point, you're not a kid, bro. You're moving like a man. When you get caught, you got to deal with the consequences. And what I mean by consequences, I'm talking about on the police behalf. If they doing shit like a man, make them deal with it like a man. You don't, as soon as they get caught up, they start crying. Then you feel emotional, like, well, he is a kid. He is ghost for president, bro. 
and judge. Because then I'm throwing a book at nobody. I got a heart of stone. Once I feel like you did something cold, my heart gets colder, bro. I am not lying. I will not fuck with you ever. I'm good. I'm good. Five years. Why y'all got a lawyer here? What we want to present there ain't no case. Five years. She stole a kid, bro. Judge Ghost up in Milwaukee is doing stuff out of order. And not a so what? Fired me. What else y'all gonna do? If you don't fire me, they're gonna keep on getting five years. You know, I ain't got in this position to change shit. I ain't trying to be like Let's that. Let's say you were the mother of a Kia boy. What would you tell your son? <laughs> she lying. <laughs> she got Bro, she is lying. She is lying. What would you tell your son? Yeah. She lying. <laughs> See, guys, this is what I'm talking about. They gave these out for free because that's how much the Kia boys are doing work around here. Whoa. His, look, he trying to be on camera like a mother. His girl do not want that. They out there giving free, uh, what is that, a steering wheel club? So the kid, oh my God. We had multiple people that we interviewed in just a span of 15 minutes know somebody or themselves personally that had their car stolen by the Kia boys. That is fucking crazy. Right. Uh. Shot, bro, 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 up Milwaukee. Big it's scary to think I'm going to talking. meet somebody that yeah, hot, seems like to talking. have no regard for human <laughs> life. They will steal your car all your shit, shit just for a joyride. And shit their up. violence has been so notorious that the city of Milwaukee had to cancel a basketball game watch party because hold on been so notorious that the city milwaukee buzz canceled game seven one. Oh, i thought they canceled the game who cares about a watch party <laughs> that's because when they come out 50 percent of them gonna catch the uber home all y'all cars milwaukee gonna be to gone cancel a basketball game watch right, party because these kids are so violent what it do bro what up hey is it true that uh, i got a lot of little homies right <laughs> And I don't, I don't, I ain't got, only time I get into Uber is if I'm out of town or I'm on my way to the airport. These fools told me a couple of days ago that only broke bro niggas ride Ubers. <laughs> you got to get a lift. When I got more money than all these fools, I'm like, kids, kids, go, go. To, <laughs> please go to my Instagram, bro. It's DJ AY Ghost. Get over there. Make sure you follow me too. But I got a video up. I think it's like three pages down, three grids, three, however y'all say that, three lines down. Well, I'm talking about my sister where she was saying, if a dude texts her and his message come in green, she ain't talking to him because that mean he got an Android. I went off on IG, bro. Not even lying. My big dog, I'm my on your block. My sister got me so I'm on your block. All right, we're here we're live. How you guys doing? Online. What can you tell us about what we're about to see right now? Man. My little niggas finna hit the corner and go crazy. Baby, How many Kia boys do you think there are in the city? Hundreds. Side note, Hundreds? Tommy G the police. Kia yeah. boys, Sonata boys. Are there any Chevy boys? I hope not, because I got a Chevy over here. It's a whole tutorial on how to do this shit on YouTube. If you see a nigga walking around with a charger like this, just know he's probably gonna steal your car. I'm Tommy G and I'm here with... Uh, my name's Sonny. <laughs> I'll call you Marvin the <laughs> Yeah, account. what was saying is okay. that. Right. So Marvin, when did you start getting into the Kia business here? Uh, I ain't gonna lie. Like, shit. Three summer ago, that's when it all started. Hot hey, dads and kids. Somebody snitched on Marvin, bro. To think about being on camera like this, when you're doing crimes, you can have your face covered up, but let you not pay somebody. Let you cheat on your girlfriend. Let you rob somebody. Let your uncle be mad at you. Let your homie hate on you. They going to the police. Like, that's him. That's him. That's the thing about these videos. That mask only means something to people that don't know you, but it's like somebody that really know you, that really know you, y'all do it to me all the time. I be trying to wear a mask in the mall, and y'all be knowing who I. They know who you are, bro. The way you talk, the way you walk, your body shape. The, they know who you are, bro. The eyes don't lie. You can cover everything but them eyes. And when somebody got a mask on you, and you call their name, or you look at them, they will look at you in a certain way to let you know they know you. You know what I'm saying? They will. I don't care who it is, bro. If you know somebody. And you look at them dead in their eye, you can't look at them like you don't know them. The eyes never lie. You can act like you don't know them. You can not talk to them. You can leave them alone. But if you, you can, you, you, the eyes don't lie, bro. Do you get nervous before you do that? Hell no. I'm going to film you guys, but I don't think I'm going to get into a car with you because I feel like I might die. Ah! Are there Kia boys that have crashed a car and died? Yeah, I ever so you want to get one on camera? And then they crash, they flip the car in less than 20 seconds. Hold this in front of your face while you talk. 
<laughs> no, I'm just kidding. We'll have to find something for you. Did it Here, guys, like, this is what I'm gonna do real quick. All right, now we're good to go. <laughs> what percentage of Kia boys stay strapped when they ride around town? I ain't gonna lie, at least 60%, 60%, 70%. Oh, it got good. Do your moms know that you do this? Shit, she know I got a case for that shit. <laughs> I don't know I got a case for it. That, that's a what does she say? Does she tell you, like, hey, you got, can't be doing this? Yeah, she tell me not to do it. I'll be listening to her, too. I don't be doing it. Only Repeat the finish, and he look like he got a black and mile in his hand. Young as hell, bro. Cigarettes, black and miles, do not smoke them. Then they say cigarettes is like 16. Yeah, one black mile is like 16 cigarettes. Do not blow them, bro. You know something, the reason why I ain't never picked up one and never smoked one? Cause somebody told me every time you smoke one, it take an hour off your life. Oops. They gotta tell me twice. <laughs> what, I, what, I, what I gotta do, try to find out, nuh -uh. Just keep smoking it for years on years on years and not pass away at 30. When I was supposed to be gone at like 60, 70, maybe. I'm telling y'all now, bro. So to everybody that's smoking cigarettes, find out if you want to. I'm just telling you now. Every time you smoke one, some of you fools be smoking 12 a day. A whole pack, it's like 24 in a pack. How you smoke one in a day, then lose a day? Like, damn, why you, you kill it? <laughs> hey, look, an hour every time you smoke a cigarette. Do y'all hear me? Stop smoking them. Black and miles, two hours. Yeah, whatever it goes. All right, find out. I ain't coming to your feet. If you die from, from smoking cigarettes, I'm not coming. <laughs> I told you, bro. I, I told you. One time. So she, so she think I'm good. I don't condone this either, y'all. I tried to stop it. Yes, you yeah, do, what's bro. What's your advice to these young guns out here? Man, stop doing that shit. You pick it back up, line your lines up, you buy your own car. Most of the people stealing cars as kids, so they get a slap on the wrist and get right out. That. My nigga KD went not like Delonte West. Y'all remember old boy that the, the homies back? I think he smashed LeBron James. Or was that a rumor? What do you say? Anyway, if that everybody got a twin. Everybody got a twin. And he still think he in the NBA right now. He still think he got clout. Why you gonna wear a hat that say icon? Bro, you not even playing no more. You dead out here. Take the eye off there and just Put a con. And then on the side, put Vic. Because <laughs> you out there with little kids watching them steal cars, bro, that's accessory. What the hell? What that say? Withdrawal? Quality garment staple. Somebody come get KD, bro. Right out. What up, big dog? How you doing? You got the Cartiers looking fresh, man. <laughs> Good to meet you. I'm Tommy G. What's going on? So have you heard of the Kia boys? Yeah, yeah. And to people that haven't heard about them before, how do you describe them? Yeah, they Kia boys. Yeah, they do their thing on the real. Watch out for them. Yeah, they still kids. If I drive a Kia, should I be concerned? Oh, yeah, most definitely. They come to get that. Say why, though. They're not telling us why they still kids, bro. We just know they still. Why? That's what, what I want to know. Have, what would you want to say to a Kia boy? Man, shit. Be safe. Be safe. It's rough out here. Is this block about to get crazy or what? Hell yeah. What's the most daring or brave thing you've done in the car? He was out the sunroof driving. <laughs> Did you think you were going to die? Hell no. Are you scared of death? How you out yeah, the sunroof no, driving? Cool. But maybe it can come a little bit later, not today when you're driving out of a sunroof, you know? Or smoking cigarettes. Yeah, I ain't going to crash. I got it. <laughs> if you had to guess, the average Kia boy out there, 30 cars, 50 cars, two cars. People be on sprees because some people don't know how to drive, so they got to steal so many cars because they run through them. Because they crash them? Yeah. If I owned the Kia company, bro, I'd be hot because these little niggas is dropping a value. What I mean by dropping the value, no, I'm not talking about, oh, Kia cars are ugly now because they're still in them. No, it's just that people up in Milwaukee not going to want to buy no Kias, bro. And all the sales you were supposed to get, you can't because these fools, you know what I'm saying? I'll be high. Y'all got enough money. Y'all better just, just, at this point, I'm putting a head out, contract on everybody that's still kids, bro. If I own the company, like, you, you taking my money, bro. Let's take it food off our table. I ain't. Yeah, right. Them I don't you nobody. 200 car <laughs> 300 car there. What? Oh, and are you scared of potentially ever going to jail? Do you ever think about that? No, I ain't gonna lie. I'm only scared of the black truck shit.
the police. I ain't gonna lie. I'm only scared of the black truck. Other than that, what's the, the black party. truck? Have you thought about how you would spend that time? Shit. Tommy G asked, what's the black truck? Weak shit. It's a misdemeanor. You only do three weeks for stealing a car? Hell yeah, it's a misdemeanor shit. So is there really See? no punishment? See how they thinking? See how they thinking? Yeah, five years. Before this? Five no, years. No. It's the high speed. That's when you get a felony. How old do you think the average Kia boy is? 12, 11. 12, 11? You know what I was doing when I was 11? I, I was catching work. frogs and shit. <laughs> uh oh, hey, watch this, watch this, watch this. Trying to show off for the camera. What? Trying to show off for the camera. What you mean, what she talking about? Bro, that was probably her house. Y'all fools coming right here for a camera. Y'all know what y'all, man. What did we just see right now? Man, you just seen the smack smack ass, ass shit. Nut. That's what smacking ass shit, man. How fast do you think they were going? They tried to like eat like 80. Like 80. They wasn't going like 80. They wasn't going so do you guys go to school or you just skip school and steal cars all day? I go to school for I go to school. I need my education. So what do you want to be when you grow up? Shit, rich, shit, whatever comes with it. I mean, do you see yourself being an astronaut, a fireman, a mechanic? I go Entrepreneur. These niggas is funny as shit, bro. Tommy G be having me crying. I'm telling you right now, no astronaut, no nothing. It's going to be something they could do on their own. I thought I heard him say entrepreneur. That's one of them, rapper, basketball player, or selling some type of shoes and merch, bro. You, <laughs> but I go get my education for sure. Let's see these answers. I'm gonna do HVAC, I ain't gonna lie. HVAC? Dude, that's a really good profession. I feel like you guys would be perfect mechanics, you know what I mean? Like, you, you already are in the business of cars. Do you know that this city... Oh. <laughs> my bad, I don't pre-watch my V. Shut the fuck up, I don't pre-watch. Is scared shitless of this right Play now? KD. The whole city of Milwaukee is pooping their... I gotta go like this, bro. I asked that nigga what happened to the NBA. Talk about that. LeBron James still playing, bro. Oh man. Their pants because of that shit like that. I feel like I need to move my car off the street. All right guys, honest question, honest question. So if that car would have gone out of control and swerved and hit me and I died, what do you think should happen to the driver? Yeah, you should have got out the way. If the car there hit you me, go. Been my fault. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You should have got out the way. Would, would you guys have even have cried at my funeral? See that mindset, bro. See that mindset. No kind of sympathy for no victim. Five years in prison, bro. Five years level four prison. What you mean? Well, shit, you should have got out the way. Oh, you brought flowers or anything? I ain't gonna lie shit. to you. I don't even know you like, that much to, to, to be crying. But I, I, I'd I be like, damn, bro, shit. I'd be like, damn, bro. I, got exactly. I asked yeah. them if it hit me, they said it would be my fault. Yeah, they said shit, so you should have got, got out the way. way. Yeah. yeah. I, that's the up part because yeah. they dead serious. That's yes, a fuck up on time. It is, it is. <laughs> I like you. <him. laughs> they dead serious, bro. Should have got up out the way, but let's keep it 100. If you see the Kia boys, you know these fools is like 90% minors. They can't drive. They joy riding, you know what I'm saying? That's why they get the slap on the wrist, bro. They dead serious. I like it. I asked yeah. them if it hit me, they said it would be my fault. Yeah, they said shit, so you, you should have got, got out the way. way. Yeah. Listen, <laughs> I, and that's the fucked up because they dead serious. That's a <laughs> fucked up mentality. It is, it is. And it's like they don't got no sense of sympathy or nothing like no. He talking like that while he's standing right over there though. They're probably over there like, what this man is talking about? No more, you know what I'm saying? Because like, they could be stealing a single mom's car that if she misses that car, she gets evicted yeah. from her place and her whole Get family's life is job, fucked. Man. People always say, Those, those white people problems or what? Because he said if she missed the car, she get evicted to her place. From her place? What the fuck? The car got to, Or her job? She might miss her. Tommy G, you is my boy. 
Let's make that very clear. You my guy, we here. But we just not here on this. I don't, hold on. She's like no more, you know what I'm saying? Because like, they could be stealing a single mom's car that if she misses that car, she gets evicted from her place and her whole family's life is job, fucked. People yeah, always she's say you're supposed they to steal offer car. guidance and direction. How you going to offer somebody <laughs> that don't want nothing, that don't want to listen? What do you say to people that say, hey, they just need a better family structure, they need God. a male role model? I mean, that could be true in some cases, but some of these people have that. A lot of these kids, really good kids, but they followers. Hmm. A lot of kids really at home a, a lot by themselves. Moms working second shift trying to feed four or five kids so they at home 16 and you still ain't told us why you ain't playing the nba no more though nigga everything he's saying i don't everything you saying is like trying to throw us off because everybody here want to know why the fuck you not in the nba no more bro playoffs is cracking right now ain't it yeah it is bro y'all didn't get swept you should why are you doing 17 years Tommy old at home, a, a boy gonna do what he want to. I did. I mean, a lot of kids got good parents. When you come outside, you're gonna do what you right. want to do. So you really can't blame it on the parents. No. Time Young men like to sure. push the boundaries. Yeah. I think now with these cars, they testing the boundaries of death almost. They really are. I mean, that was crazy. They could have driven through that car right there. Yeah, hell yeah. They could have hit that curb and started flipping or anything. Should we check out the aftermath? Yeah, let's go check it out. All right. Okay, so we have to be ready. If they swerve back around, we have to hide, dude, because I don't trust these guys to drive properly. Nah, bro, all right, so look, see all these tire marks? They swerved into someone's front yard. Look, right here and right here, 10 feet from the school. We're gonna interview a lady that almost got hit. Are you okay? Great. How close to you did that come? Like, pretty close. That was <laughs> crazy. That was wild, some wild shit. Is that normal? Have you ever seen something like that before? Yeah, every day. Bro, every she, day. this kill boy, she in Milwaukee. Y'all got a hood pass courtesy of the mob. Gotta watch y'all, cause they getting kind of treacherous over here. Dude, and I have a girlfriend I love very much. I need to go home. Who got the strap? Home too. You gonna go home and now you She's my it. sweet cheeks, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> my sweet cheeks. What happened over there? You're my little man, square, man. 80 and tried to eat break, can't do that. The guy's on the fucking car. <laughs> so is the point of stealing kids is just to joyride them? They still ain't told me. Tommy G didn't say, why do y'all steal kids? He ain't said that. Unless I miss some shit. Why are y'all stealing kids, bro? You need, these niggas need a dare program. Our Boys and Girls Challenger Club. That's what's wrong today, bro. We ain't got enough of those in the city. These kids are just bad. They ain't got nothing to do, bro. Put a boxing gym or something, you know what I'm saying? Damn. It's just joy riding the kid. I'm shooting one of these fools. They steal my kid, my girl kid, or my sisters, bro. Girl, she going to jail. You know, I don't know that shit. Oh, f my car's up there. I don't want my car. <laughs> You see people running for their Bro, life? why are you running across the street while the car is coming down the street? These can die. I'm getting scared watching it. I'm not even in the hey, car. Hey, hey, hey. y'all see that we hot wheels? We like the hot wheels on this bitch. You see how fast we put the tire on? That was crazy. Hot wheels, man. You got some cojones, man. That's for sure. Hell yeah. Have yeah, you ever gotten yeah, to a police chase before? They can chase yeah. them. They can't. <laughs> They can't chase because they what well, they can, but like after you're doing so much dangerous shit, they gotta terminate it. You're a reckless man, yeah. you know that? <laughs> Are you ever sitting in the back of the car thinking, I really wish I wasn't here because this is scary as fuck? No, I don't drive in the back seat. If I'm in the joint, I'm in the front seat. So, no, nobody drive in the back seat. You can sit in the back seat. No, I don't drive in the back seat. Yeah, thought you went to school for your education. He nigga lying, he be ditching. So I was back to school and stop stealing these people cars. I don't drive in the back seat. Now name me one motherfucker that I do. You know what I'm saying? Name me one person that I do. Oh, you're all, either you're driving or, or nothing. Yeah. I'm Mr. Me. Ebert. They call me Mr. Ebert. Where do you guys put these things? See, this is what you do. You drive through the hood, <clears throat> you see a abandoned house. And then you see if they got an open garage, should the garage open parking it. Sometimes your car be there, sometimes it won't shit. Hello, sir, how you doing? I hope UPS gives him an extra little kick for this route, because this is crazy. Sir, can I ask you another question, Professor Ebreak? How are you going to be a- <laughs> Tommy G. <laughs> Tommy G, bro, you Actually, are hilarious, man. Entrepreneur, if you're getting yourself into trouble with these Kias. Shit, I don't even rob joints, shit. I ain't going to lie. Like, the only time I got to get in a stolen car, say, say if my boy called me, like, I got some fat. I'm like, damn, I got to drive that. I ain't drive that yet, so, shit. Just being a Kia boy get you chicks? Yeah, I ain't going to lie. Bitches suck your dick, you, get, you, you pull up in the joint. The bus just hit you. They hit a bus? Oh, really? Oh, okay.
The little girls need saving. The little girl needs to be saved. Can you put it on Hell speaker? Not. How did bus hit you, bro? It's the thing that's, that I'm trying to process right now. Like, to me, this is completely crazy and wild. But to you, this is just, what day is it? Tuesday, huh? Yeah, just another Tuesday another for you. Tuesday. Can you describe what you're doing right Saturday now? Saturday. Oh, shit. My, these motherfuckers in the system, they know these very well. Do you know any keyboards that have been shot at? <laughs> these in the system, they know these very well. It's sort of like a hundred other people watching this video, bro. I guarantee you the police up in there in Milwaukee know who they is. All y'all going to jail, bro. Not even lying. They out now, they minors, but they all went to the While not stealing lying. a car? Yeah. Do you have friends that have gotten in trouble and are in the system right now or in jail right now? Yeah. There they go right uh oh, there. here we go. Hey, you Bro, that's the no same little beat nothing. up kid. See, and that's what I say, like, not, this not to that extreme. This shit changed so much. Go, roll, roll, roll. Oh, shit. They're trying to, they're trying to show off the camera. Oh, my gosh. Hey, not the Chevy though, not the Chevy though. <laughs> so is the goal to steal a Kia and look like you're gonna try to crash a parked car and then dodge it? Where's the fun in that? I don't think they know when you die, you can't come back. I don't think they know that, bro. This is so, I was about to say immature, of course it is, but this is just kitty. This is just, take me to jail, I ain't got, this is just stupid, bro. Don't hit the Chevy. Hold on. And this is why I need help on my Patreon. We're trying to take shit to the next level right now. <laughs> Sell it. We're more angles, more cuts, more Sell scenes. It. We're on the block kind of doing dangerous shit. This is some wild shit, so um, Patreon link in bio. It really is, Patreon link in the bio. Every time they pass my car, I'm like, please not my car, please not my car. Okay. These kids is like a like fucking ping pong to them. That's how casual they are about stealing a car. Right, should we clear out of here? Yeah, they calling the police. Okay, shit's getting hot. Yeah. I see how one gonna smack that motherfucker. I told y'all. Oh, bro, going bad. I'll tell you guys like this, all right? First, thanks for giving us a show. That was fucking something I've never seen before in person. <laughs> the other thing is, as like a big brother, I just hope that you guys. A big bro? I just met you, fool. Tommy G is one of the most nice, a lot, hilarious YouTubers I've seen in a while, bro. If you really catch on to what he's saying, he ain't being disrespectful with it. It's just so, so funny, bro. If you really catch on guys, to this Guys, stay thing. okay, stay safe. I don't want to see anything bad happen to you guys, okay? Beat up ass yeah. key on a donut. All right. Um, hey, yeah. but make sure y'all blur out the plates. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Cause they had charged us with that shit. But I wish the best for you guys. I hope you stay safe. Or maybe you become a professional yeah, boxer. Charged. Maybe you become an astronaut. Yeah. You know what I mean? So you guys got any final thoughts or anything you want to <laughs> yeah, say yeah, to the camera? Sure. What about to the people in Milwaukee nope. out there? Man, stop hey, trying to crack joints down. Stay dangerous, man. Summer, bloody summer, man. Y'all, a lot of yeah. niggas gonna die. It ain't meant for a lot of niggas. <laughs> no fool, you say. All right, guys, take care. That's it. That's the Kia boys. All right, let's get out of here before the cops come out. Fellas, I think it's time to skedaddle. If they do come, they letting you go. <laughs> Off top. Everybody else, y'all be careful. Y'all be cool. I'm going to get at y'all in the next video. 100.